I know I don't do a lot of thrifting videos, so I actually did end up going to a thrift shop, and you guys, it was crazy. Crazy. So I have to show you all of the stuff that I found. It was an amazing haul. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of the video to see all of the stuff that I actually ended up getting. So this place is jam packed with anything and everything that you could imagine. I mean, it's a thrift shop, so that's just kind of the way thrift shops work. But one of the very first things I see is this giant set of china. And I know this pattern immediately. Wedgwood actually makes this pattern and it's called Runny Mead. And it was a pattern that they made in the 1970s. They stopped making it in the 90s, I believe. So it's something that is no longer made that a lot of people still really, really like. And this set is massive, you guys huge. Now, one of the things about this set is some of the pieces are incredibly valuable and it's a little bit off-putting to me because they want $600 for the set. So I do feel like they kind of have an idea of what they have, but with a set this size, I do feel like this may be doable if we can pinpoint a couple of pieces that might be worth a lot of money. Already I'm seeing the double-handed soup bowls. These soup bowls can go anywhere from $80 to $100 each just for one bowl. So for a set this size, it looks like there's 12 pieces of everything. This actually may be doable. This is a cool set, so I might actually end up doing that, but let's see what else they have. They have a ton of glassware, you guys, and it's funny to me because they know what they have when it comes to valuable things, and it seems to me that they also know what they have when it comes to not so valuable things, because all of this glassware is 50% uh, off, and I don't really see anything here that's super exciting to me. I like these decoy ducks and you know, honestly, like I always like to kind of check the bottoms because some of them will be stamped or signed by artists and there's some really reputable artists that paint or carve these old decoy ducks and some of them can actually be pretty valuable. These ones didn't have any makers marks or signatures. This mask is kind of cool. This is an Indonesian mask. I kind of like it just because of the size, but it doesn't look super old. It's very touristy and they want $75 for it, which honestly is quite a bit for something like this. Ugh, these things kill me, you guys. M.A. Hadley stuff, I mean, I'm sure you've all seen it. It's this really amazing handmade pottery. It's all functional, so they have really great serving pieces and plates and bowls, and this is a mug. I just like it because every piece is different. It's all completely unique, and you can make a great collection of these, and honestly, if you like it, you can find it for really inexpensive, but if you're trying to resell, it makes it really difficult because they're just not that valuable. They do have a cool table with some really nice smaller items. They have this table here with a couple of boxes on it. One of the first ones that I see, it's sort of like an enamel painted box by Kelvin Chin. And I really like these a lot actually, but the reality is they're just not that valuable. They're asking $18 for it. I think realistically I could probably sell it for like 20 to 25. But what does catch my attention is this box sitting next to it. This is incredible. And this is actually what's called bull work. Bull is the last name of a guy. He lived in France between the 16 and 1700s and he started this whole way of inlaying brass or pewter inside some of these insane wood pieces. You'll actually see a lot of really high-end furniture from this time from France with this bull work in it with this inlaid metal and brass detailing and you guys these are just really really hard to come by and this is a really really beautiful example. I actually love this. I open it up they're only asking $52 for this which is an insane insane deal for something like that. They make insane old cabinets, desks, clocks, 
and boxes just like this one here. $52 is a great deal. So I don't know, I might grab this one. I love how they color coordinate everything. They have a whole table just full of blue and white dinnerware. Some of that can be pretty valuable. I don't see anything here that's really jumping out at me. They have a whole shelf here with even more glassware. It looks like it's a lot of cut crystal or pressed glass pieces. Nothing here that's super valuable. I get kind of excited about these napkin rings because right offhand, they kind of look like Lalique. I don't even think Lalique makes napkin rings, so I think that's why I got kind of excited about it. I pick them up and they're just made out of plastic. So <laughs> those were put back rather quickly. Then they have a whole other section over here with more dinnerware that looks like they just have some of their random pieces of dinnerware in this section. But on the bottom shelf, I notice right away they have these insane Arthur Court stoneware pieces. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Arthur Court. They do a ton of really amazing houseware that's just completely made out of metal. So you can pretty much find anything from candle holders to salt and pepper shakers. And the crazy thing is Arthur Court actually designed chairs, like solid metal dining room chairs that are insane expensive. For this entire set, they're only asking $30 for it. And of course, they have some more M.A. Hadley mugs, which I always feel bad about leaving behind just because they're so cool. Some of these pieces aren't super valuable, like the salad plates. You could probably put a pretty good set together and still do fairly well on them. And the bowls, I would say, are a little bit more valuable than the salad plates. But what I'm really interested in are these 12 inch dinner plates. Each one of these 12 inch dinner plates goes anywhere from 85 to $115. People love these large dinner plates. So I feel like it may be worth it to spend the $30. They had some insane stuff. And uh, I was super excited that I got to take you guys with me. But now I have to show you guys the stuff that I got. I was super excited about all of it, honestly. So, okay, you guys, I know $600 for that set seems crazy, but I just have to say they took 400 for that whole set. They made this in two different colors. So this is like a dark blue. And I think they also made it in a lighter blue. This is like a serving bowl that it came with. There was a lot of really big serving pieces, which made me feel really good about getting this set because I think each one of these will go for probably 80 to 100. <laughs> what I'm really excited about are these. These are the double handled soup bowls and I would love to unwrap these for you but it looks like our photographer really um, went to town on this and I don't want to undo all of their work. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it like this but basically it's just like a soup bowl with two little handles on it and each one of these will go for like a hundred bucks and it looks like we're gonna be doing um, three sets of four of these. So I think we're gonna do really, really well on this set. That was a great thrift shop find. Although you don't really think of like going to a thrift shop and spending $400 on a set of China, but I don't know, sometimes thrift store prices can be pretty crazy. I did end up leaving all of the M.A. Hadley pottery there. Unfortunately, I just felt sad about it, but you can't really sell that stuff for very much. It sits for a very long time. Um, the next thing that I ended up getting was this set here. It looks like uh, these are the salad plates of the Arthur Court stoneware, but these are the ones that I'm the most excited about. These are the 12 inch dinner plates. You guys are just like super heavy. They used a really, really thick stoneware on them. And then this metal on the edges really doesn't help with the lightness situation. But basically it's a uh, border of like grapevine designs. And then it also has a maker's mark on the back that just says Arthur Court earthenware, earthen metalware. Uh, and their dishwasher safe. It only had three of the large plates, which was a little disappointing. I would have had a mild heart attack if there were 12 of these guys. But you know what? I am going to be happy and spend my $30 on these and be okay with it. It's so all across the spectrum when it comes to values with Arthur Court stuff because some of it is so inexpensive and so mass produced. And then there are other pieces that are just very sought after and very, very collectible. Those dinner plates are one of them. And uh, we have another Arthur Court piece. Yeah, here's another one. We have the original box for this one. This one's super cool. So that's it there. It's all wrapped, still brand new. It's like a serving dish. So you'd put different, um, you put like different snacks or crackers in there, I guess. 
Uh, but anyways, these go for a couple hundred dollars, so that's also one that, that is pretty desirable. But also, the reason that we can ask a little bit more for this is because it's essentially brand new in the original box. Um, but you guys, the furniture. Okay, here's some photos of the furniture. It's so over the top, but it also has a really good look to it, right? Like, I'm not crazy. It has a cool look. And look at how much those things go for. Like, it's crazy. But I mean, I honestly have only ever seen the furniture one time, which, you know, so I guess it's probably pretty rare. And last but not least, uh, this, the Bulwark box, you guys. I'm just a little bit obsessed with this. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a closer look. All of this is just inlaid brass right inside the box. Check out some of these other bulwark pieces. So here's some furniture. They did clocks. They did all kinds of really cool old cabinetry and tons and tons of little boxes like this. And they would actually inlay in wood. They would also inlay in tortoise shells. So some of this stuff is just crazy, crazy rare, crazy valuable. It was insanely difficult to do all of this work. It was all hand done. This I was super excited to find for $50, which again, thrift stores. What are you guys thinking? Like, why do you even call yourselves thrift stores? This is not thrifty. I spent like a ton of money over there. I was not thrifting by any stretch of the imagination. So you guys, this was so much fun. You'll have to let me know what your favorite thing was today that you saw that I didn't get or that I did get. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm super excited to hear your guys' responses and let me know if you saw anything that I missed because that place was pretty full, so it was a little bit overwhelming. And if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do it now so you don't miss future episodes. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.